Namaste, this is Deepika Padukone. I am one of those outsiders who got her break opposite none other than superstar King Khan. Yet, I wanted to do something more. So I wanted to get the humanity angle to my personality. I started selling the depression story, but that didn't get more rave reviews because I was successful. If I was down and out and I had told about depression, then probably people would have sympathized with me more. So then I thought about, let's go to JNU because my film was also releasing and JNU was all about supporting Indian Muslims. I could even beat Priyanka because she is the one who always supports Rohingya Muslims and here I am going to JNU supporting the Indian Muslims. So playing this Muslim card would have got me more funding for my films because after my first Hollywood film flopped, I need funding. So now Ranveer said that he has contacts with Anil Musarrat guy who's obviously the political funder of Imran Khan's party so I just thought let's just go to JNU it'll have that humanity angle to my personality my film will also get promotion and I will be this Masiha for Indian Muslims and obviously I'll get more brownie points than Priyanka Chopra who's a Masiha for Rohingya Muslims now you want me to talk about Sushant Singh Rajput I can sell my depression story with his death because that works for me. I cannot call for a CBI inquiry. My role model is Rahul Gandhi. It's a different thing that Modi got elected and now I have to go to Modi's events and appearances because his current Joha takes me. But I am still a Rahul Gandhi fan, so you can understand my IQ level. No, 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 no. I can't talk about CBI inquiry for Sushant Singh Rajput. Let me just stick to my ways of getting attention. Namaste.